Welcome back to another Masterful Mondays. I am your host, Mr. Bevers. That's right, we're back at it. One of every Master Set ever printed. I apologize for missing last week. There were some unforeseen circumstances that I did not prepare for properly. No excuses. I just didn't get around to it. I apologize. But we're back at it, so let's get right back to it. Um, again, uh, we start with Masters 25, and we'll see how it goes. You can see along the top of the screen here, we've got which pack or which set has won the most amount of weeks and by one I mean which pack has had the best value dollar wise each week all right so masters 25 is first and we have a regrowth a goblin war drums a shadow mage infiltrator and a Sundering Titan as our rare. Um, not super crazy value-wise, but still a cool, cool card. Who doesn't like a 710 for 8, right? Hmm, not bad. And when it enters the battlefield or leaves the battlefield, choose a land of each basic land type, then destroy those lands. So, lots of lands to blow up. And we have a foil Z Zotic, Zotic Cavern. Zoetic Cavern? I don't know how you want to pronounce that, but, you know, something along those lines. I don't know if the Zoetic ca Cavern is worth anything, but uh, maybe it is, and we'll have to look it up. Alright, we've got Iconic Masters next. I don't believe there's any commons in this set that are of note. Orzov Basilica. Lightning Helix. That's an uncommon worth a couple bucks, so there you go. Heroes Bane and a Kaiga, the Tide Star. Not the worst of the legendary dragon spirits, but not the best one either. And we got a foil festering newt. Good old festering newt. Modern Masters 2017 could definitely uh, pull out some big wins here. There's a lot of cards in this set that are well over the price of the cards we've opened so far. So let's see what we find. We've got Sin Collector, Gaia's Anthem, Torrent of Souls, and a Damping Matrix. Well, that's not one of them. But, ooh. Boil Bronze Beak, Moa. Well, Masters 2017, you didn't quite get there. Eternal Masters. Eternal Masters is next. There is Counterspell in this set, so we gotta take a look for that. I don't see one in there. Annihilate. Wall of Omens, worth a couple dollars. Cabal Therapy, also worth a couple dollars. So there you go. Not a bad little set of uncommons. And our rare, a Regal Force. <clears throat> Not uh, not a heavy hitter in the rare area, but still. Ooh, we did hit a foil rare, though, and that foil rare is a Heritage Druid. Not a bad little card. Not a bad little card. I don't know what that's worth. Um, I don't I don't know. The Heritage Druid, I think, used to be worth a uh, quite a number of dollars. I don't know if it's still up there. So we've got Masters 2015 next with that cardboard pack. Not even a token, just an ad card. Oh, man. Let's see what we find. Ooh, Moolamog's Crusher. I think... Is this worth something? I think it might be. I gotta put that to the side. I can't remember if that one's worth over a dollar or not. Grawl Turf. Scargan Firebird. Ether Chase Chest Knight, Ether Chest Knight, and our rare, a Swans of Brynargle, uh, worth a couple bucks. 
Another rare worth a couple bucks here and there. And we got a foil Selesnia Sanctuary. It's not bad. I don't know if that's worth anything, but it's one of those lands that are pretty sweet. The bounce lands. All right. 2013. Could blow all of these guys out of the water. Let's see what we find. Sends Enlistment. Card used heavily in uh, Popper these days. Desperate Ritual. Not a bad little uh, uncommon. I think, maybe? I'm going to put it there and we'll check it. Reach of Branches. Executioner's Capsule. And a Jugan, the Rising Star. Oh no, we hit a Mythic. And now uh, you can see here it's a rare in Iconic Masters. The Spirit Dragons are only rare in Iconic Masters. They were Mythic in this set. Now, I mean, that was due to the time frame that the set came out. Of course, you know, these were fairly powerful still uh, during that time. So there you go. But we did get a foil rare here, and it's a Scion of Una. Not a bad little fairy. Um, can't complain about a flash 1-1 one, one for 3 that gives your other fairies plus 1 plus 1 and fairies you control have Shroud. So uh, I'll have to check up these prices. So give me a moment here while we take a look. Give me a moment here while we take a look. Okay, and we're back. Um, I did take a quick peek at some of the prices and things. And, um, you know... About six dollars here with the foil scion. Only about three bucks, three fifty maybe, for the scion. Um, swans, about a dollar fifty. Selesnia sanctuary, about a buck. Foil, uh, Ulamog's crusher, nothing. Um, Wall of omens, two bucks. Cabal therapy, a buck fifty. Regal force, a dollar. Heritage druid foil, twelve bucks. I think. Uh, I think we know where the winner is this week, that's for sure. Eternal Master seems to be the one. Because Damping Matrix, nope. Bronze Big Moa, nope. Lightning Helix, about two bucks. Uh, Kaiga, about a dollar. Festering Newt, nothing. Sundering Titan, nothing. Zotea Cavern, also nothing. So, I think Eternal Masters takes it this week. Let's give it a point. A little point there. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this masterful Monday, and we'll be back again next week with the final episode. The final episode of Series 1. Ooh, did I just say that? Oh no, Series 1. That's right, everybody. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and as always, may your pulls ever be better.